It's your girl Tiffany and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. Obviously, as you guys can see, I have a lot going on in my eyes right now. Um, for those of you that are not new here and you've seen me do tutorials and all that before, if you ever notice, I try to steer clear of looks that require me to, you know, wing out my shadow or my eyeliner um, because I'm not the most comfortable with that, like eyeshadow and liner style because I'm not very good at it so I was like you know let me try something a little bit different and something that I could you know practice a little bit more with and something that you guys might enjoy um so that's what I did today and I think it came out really good actually so you guys should be proud of me um I decided to do something and I stuck with it so Y'all yeah, gotta pat me on my back, sis. I'll pat myself on the back. Um, but I'm super excited to show you guys how I got this look. Before we jump into the video, though, if you're not already subscribed and you are new here, welcome. I hope you hit that subscribe button and join my family because here, you know, we love a lot of crazy, okay? We don't judge, but we is a little shady. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so every time I upload a video, you get a notification. And I upload every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Every single week, they might go up late, but they're going to go up on those days, honey. I promise you of that. So make sure you do that so you never miss nothing with me. But, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Obviously, I already have one eye done. Y'all know I do not wing my eyeshadow out like this. Um, So... I have mixed feelings about it, but it came out pretty good. Let's hope and pray that this side comes out like that. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So, where did it go? I used the Urban Decay Primer Potion. For some reason, I picked up the anti-aging one because <laughs> I think it was the only one they had um, at whatever store I was at. I don't even know. I feel like, no, it wasn't. I just picked one up. Because, you know, they're, like, all lined up together on display. And, um, whichever one I picked up is the one I got. I didn't even look at it. I just knew that all of them said prior potion. So, um, yeah. That's what happened. So, the palette we're using today is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place y'all already know this is my girl and I'm gonna dip into this this and oh Jesus and these two right here so I'm gonna first dip into that purple these ones do not have names on them so um just the purple and I'm gonna take that one that's M167 and pack that in my crease I feel like these eyes are shaped so different. Oh. Mm, that looks that looks great. So now I'm going to dip into this. Um, I guess this is is teal. Um, I'm going to say it's teal because that's what I feel like in my spirit it is. So that's what it is and i'm working this in circular motions um across the edge of that purple and i'm adding in like in little sections and then blending it out as y'all can see this goes up to my brow bone so i'm gonna take that same brush and dip into the yellow and go right here in circular motions and then I'm going to dip back into that purple and um, build that back up and I'm also taking the end of the brush and working in circular motions just to blend these two colors together So I'm going to now take my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in Mahogany and cut my crease. I'm going to 
I'm going to place um, a couple little, you know, swoops. Okay, how far up does this go? She's definitely higher than that. Okay, so for right now, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, but I'm so scared to have a fall. <laughs> okay. Oh, girl. Ooh, ooh, calm down, calm down. Oh. I feel like in my spirit, these are even. So even if they're not even, we're going to lie to ourselves and say that they are. So we're going to move on because if y'all don't know, if I get too like distraught about something, I have this really bad habit where I just want to like stop and I'm trying to be better. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to dip into that green shimmer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, still still no name and i'm going to use the m124 and i'm going to pat this palette as much as i have been loving my other dewy's place palettes is still undefeated okay so i'm patting this onto the space where i just um placed that concealer And then I'm going to place that blue. I don't know what color blue. Yeah, I know I have a really hard time describing shades um, unless they're telling me what color it is. I'm going to place that on the outer part of, oh, my nose. This little situation here. Like, I don't think I can see, like, actually, like, the bombness of these colors right now, but I'm going to try to get y'all to feel what I'm feeling, okay? Like, oh my god. Ugh, I messed up a little bit. So, this part is another part that I'm super freaking scared to do right now. Um, why does the side look shorter? Yep. Now nah, I feel like it looks even. I'm going to use this NYX um, Vivid Brights Liner and Vivid Violet um, to give myself a wing as you guys can see um i'm gonna try to do this part on camera actually i'm gonna go off camera and do this part because i really don't want to steer y'all wrong on this wing liner so i'm gonna go i'm gonna be back so i did go ahead and pop on this other lash and i did place the purple shadow over top of the liner just so i could set it down um these are the intoxicated lashes from wispy winks and these are so freaking cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on my face. So I'm gonna take this Beauty Bakery, what is this called again? Oh, just baking oil for the face. And this is gonna be my primer today. So boo, boo, boo. let me just This smells so freaking good, like Oh, I do have concealer under my eyes because I did go ahead and clean up my wings on the side because they kind of got a little out of hand. So that's what this little situation is. So just disregard it. I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Chai. Y'all haven't seen me use this in a little while. So, you know, I thought I'd bring her back. And that's about a half a pump on both sides of my face. Yeah, that's about how much it is. And this will cover everything, especially because I don't really put the foundation, like focus it under my eyes. This should be good. Oh, 
Then for concealer, because I already had used it to clean up my wings, I'm going to take my Boy Men's Way Concealer in Mocha. Um, honestly, I try not to use... I'm lying. I was about to lie to y'all. I was about to say I try not to use the same things on camera all the time. But honestly, I use what I like. For the most part, if y'all notice, I always tend to use the same things because on a daily basis, if I'm doing my makeup... I use the same things all the freaking time, okay? So that's normally why that happens that way. So should I, you know, contour? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Match Day and Espresso to contour. And honestly, this is never not a banger. So if you haven't picked it up yet, Go pick it up. What is everybody watching on Netflix? Because I'm about to start watching the Umbrella Academy, I think, and I'm I was gonna start watching it tomorrow, but I guess I'll wait till Brian comes home on Friday to start watching it because I asked my dad and he said it was pretty good. And I've already watched um, Sabrina, um, the whole first part. Well, I guess it's a first season, but it doesn't, doesn't call season. It's called, I think it's part one. Um, I watched that whole part one of Sabrina. I watched a Christmas special also of Sabrina. So I'm finished that and I'm just waiting for that to come back on in April. Um, so now I don't really have nothing to watch because I was going to be a psycho and go rewatch Gossip Girl because honestly, I love Gossip Girl and probably could rewatch it and still feel the same way about it. Um, but if I could find something new that I want to watch, preferably something that y'all think my husband wouldn't want to watch, so that way I can watch it when he's not here and, you know, not feel too bad about it. I mean, honestly, I don't feel bad about it anyway if I do, but... You know, if I'm trying to be a good wife, maybe not every day, but like for the most part, because I feel like he feels the most neglected if I watch our Netflix shows without him. Um, so if I could not watch a show, I mean, if I could watch a show that he is not interested in, um, that would be preferable. Um, we watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. together, so we've watched those. Well, you already know I love Marvel, so... Uh, um Jessica Jones I've watched those season one and season two um I like Criminal Minds so I've seen Criminal Minds I've seen SVU um Charmed I don't even know if they're still on there but I love Charmed so I've obviously seen that too um I don't know I like all different types of stuff, so if y'all could just like drop y'all recommendations, that would probably help me out a lot. Thanks in advance. So I think for my under eye, I'm going to use my Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder because I finally found it yesterday. When did I find my last video? Um, yeah, yesterday. Um, and I remember it. It was bae. So I'm back, honey. I really like how the pressed powder looks under your eye, especially because it's a brighter um, powder. It definitely doesn't take away from all the brightness that I love under my eye. Then for bronzer, I'm going to take this Morphe Bronzer in Showmance because it was on my table. So it was in my reach. So that's what I'm using today. And I'm taking that on my jawline too. If ever y'all wondered if I did. For the most part, um, I put bronzer everywhere. Um, so yes, I definitely do. And I work in circular motion because I feel like that doesn't make it as harsh. It probably does nothing. But y'all don't come here for what's right. Y'all come here for what's to me, okay? So... My eyes are pretty dramatic, so I feel like my cheeks will be a little dramatic. So I'm going to use this pretty vulgar blush. What is this called? Prim Vixen. So it's, it's 
it's it's pretty pink she's pretty pigmented okay let me shout out i go od and even still she's still pigmented so y'all already know if y'all have this blush definitely tap off the excess like all of the excess because you don't want nothing to like get to clap them back at you because i have that i made that mistake to never dust off enough of my blush oh and i put blush on the tip of my nose too yeah i don't i don't know what it does but like i just feel like it does a little something for me and i'm just gonna put a little bit up here because i don't know i feel like i need some color today so that's that's what we doing and that's that's it and that's all as much as my face right now normally after i powder my face and all that my face feels super dry but i'm telling y'all this freaking baking oil um from beauty bakery is the truth like look at my skin i just put all that powder on my face and i don't look like i put any on my face so beauty bakery honey you is the truth ma'am so i'm gonna take this fuego by dose the colors and desi and katie and i'm gonna use my milani brush to put it on like this is it this is all the proof 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 that you guys need because y'all already know I am a very firm believer in spraying my face before I put any highlight on because I just feel like I don't want nothing to get to acting up. I don't really know what it would do and what acting up actually entails of a highlighter, but spraying my face has always worked for me with my highlighter, so that is why I've always done it. So y'all already know I'm over highlighting, you know, because... I need people to see me when I'm coming, like when I'm on my way. So, duh. I'm going to go take this down some more just to blend it into the middle because, you know, being quick and fast like I am um, when I do my eyeshadow, I mean, when I do my concealer, I kind of took some of it away. So, I just had to fix that a little bit. Should I put some in my inner corner? I don't know, but I'm going to put some down the bridge of my nose because would I be me if I didn't? I feel like I should put something in my inner corner, but I don't feel like it should be that highlighter. I'm not going to put the highlighter right there. I'm not going to put that highlighter right there. I'm going to put that blue shade that I put like on the outer part of my eye. I'm going to put that right there. And we about to step out. Like we really got some. Oh, this going to be bright, honey. Woo. Woo. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I need. So I'm going to put, what is this? The Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in a vice, and that is the purple one. I'm going to pop this on my waterline. So I'm going to take that teal shade. Is that teal? You know? I don't really know, but that blue color that I have like up here, I'm going to take that and buff out my lower lash line with that color. This blue is And then because, not because I need to, but because like I want to, I'm going to put some of this yellow on my lower lash line too. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't feel like I need a lipstick with this. I feel like I need a gloss. 
I feel like a lipstick will be too much. Um, I don't know where my lipstick is. Um, I'm going to go upstairs, get my lip gloss. Well, one of my lip glosses because I know one is upstairs. And then I'm going to be back so we can go ahead and do this, you know, intro and outro. Peace. You guys made it to the end of the video and I already gave y'all my little subscribe, like, comment. You know, actually, I didn't tell y'all to like and comment. So if you like this video, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what your favorite part of it was. If you like that I try something new for myself. Um, if you want me to try more new things, let me know that in the comments as well. But if you made it this far and you made it all the way to the end, you guys are the bomb, the bomb okay so drop me a fire emoji down in the comments because if you made it this far i want to know who is actually sitting here watching my whole videos i'm curious honey if you're not you messing with my watch time but if you are i love you you the bomb so that's all i got for this video today so like i always tell you guys i'm your girl tiffany thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video